Good morning, it's Saturday the 29th of January and we're cracking on with the van build and Max is here as usual to do a bit of supervision. It is super windy outside. I think we have a storm warning. I, I think it was Storm Malik. I think they called it something like that. Um, not raining, not snowing, but loads and loads of wind. That's shaking the whole van. Darren's just trying to force back in the little trim. Um, it just came loose when we were pulling things out and doing the insulation. So he's just trying to get that back in. Just requires a little bit of brute force. Patience. And patience. Yeah. So now we're just working on fitting the internal um, pieces of the under seat storage and Darren's just tapping some tacks in uh, so that we can completely box in this wheel arch and then I'm going to put some insulation in there. There's the um, wheel arch boxed in and then what we've done is we've got some custom made um, side edges that are going to finish it off. Cool. No, it is very tight. Is it? Yeah, that side is very tight. Oh, oh yeah. But it's Oh, that's yeah, I think the side on that one just comes out a little bit more than the uh, that's good, actually. This yeah, one. Nice and yeah. yeah. And then what I tried to do was leave. Oh no, knock it over. <laughs> was to leave um, a small air gap here so that air will circulate. Just so that there's air circulation. Mm -hmm. So you're going to tap those ones in, and then yeah. I can get under there and do the insulation mm -hmm. I'm letting Darren have a go of my jigsaw <laughs> <laughs> it's true isn't it it's very true I'm not doing very well to actually go in further does it have to go in to sit yeah it does it has to go a bit a bit bigger actually which is all right so i'll just re i'll redraw the line because that's a bit yeah it's bit. not sitting flush right yes i can see now yeah yeah, yeah so i need to cut there Not 
bad. Let's see how that looks. Actually, that's quite tidy, that. So, just so that we're... Yeah, we need to orientate. That's it, upwards, yeah. Yeah, that's it, and then that'll direct it up oh, and across that way. Uh -huh. That will direct it down. So that's directing that's it correct, yeah. up and slightly off that way. Yeah, because that yeah. one's facing slightly that way, isn't it? Mm, mm -hmm. I think. Can't really tell. Right. Anyway, that's that then. Pop it in, please. Mm, that's not bad, actually. Bit of a fiddle with the old jigsaw. Not very good with that. But there we go. So then that puts it to right length, height. Tidy. There we go. Ooh. Ooh, very good. That looks really big for that. What is that all about? Why is that not fitting on there? Do you want me to tell you about what's just happened here? Mm. We thought it was this one that's in Darren's hand, but it's actually this one, which has got all the steps yeah. on the back so that the pipe with the lovely warm air can fit onto it. Yeah. And then that's a nice tight snug fit on there. Yeah. Like that. Like that. So, so this one, we're not sure what this one was for, perhaps as a secondary or it certainly doesn't fit onto either of the, it's not like a stopping anything going in no. to the heater itself. So perhaps it's just for a different setup. Mm. But, but that's yeah, tidy. That's tidy. Good. Not sure about that one there. Mm -hmm. We've managed to get in two sides blocking this um, under seating storage off. So there's one side which is separated the toilet. So we've got space for our wood chips and the toilet. And then that's completely blocked in. And then on this left side, sorry, on the right side even, um, we've got a second compartment blocked off so that's given me a nice um oh it doesn't look square in the camera but it is so that's a full depth uh storage unit there and now i'm just trying to figure out the shelf that's going to go in here so we've attached some brackets here and here and i'm going to put a shelf in across and that gives that whole bottom compartment um just or, or you know completely given over to the uh the heat source heater and then there's 12 centimeters clearance above that and then it goes through into this section also where the drop out and everything is and where the gas taps come in that's also got at the same height and i'm going to put a small shelf in from that bracket there to this one here just to maximise on the space. And then I probably will put something that goes in down here. Just trying to work those out at the moment. Just a quick glimpse, not quite finished and those tops aren't uh, put on properly yet. And we do need the facings here, but that's what we've been working towards. So all of this will be covered in cushions and that's our seating area all the way down. Yep, that was a fairly good day's work in all that wind. Good morning. 
So it's the day after Storm Malak. Just very high winds. And thankfully nothing else happened. Sadly our neighbour does have a big hole in their roof. And we're back at it. The only thing that we had left to do was complete the fronts and they're all cut to shape and finished. So that's our jobs done for today. We're really pleased with how the seating has all turned out and Jade's even had a quick lie down on there. It's a full single bed so she's happy that she can come and visit. So I would like to say thank you very much for watching and thank you to everyone who has commented on the last couple of videos. Lovely, lovely messages as always. Uh, please subscribe if you're enjoying what we're doing and give us a thumbs up. Take care everyone and see you next time. Bye now. Thank you.